Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn that how to convert a solid body into a sheet metal. So for this first, uh, we need to create a solid body. So here I am going to create an hopper. So start from this sketch. For this we need create number of planes. So I am selecting reference geometry and starting creating plane. Here, first of all, I am going to create two plane at the distance of 20 mm. Click OK. After that, again select the reference geometry and select the first reference plane. And create the second reference plane at the distance of 40 mm. And now again, I'm going to create a plane at the distance of 60 mm. Now here we have four plane so select the first plane and start sketch on it so i'm selecting rectangle and the rectangle and defining its length and width so i'm entering here 30 mm its length and width and exit from this sketch now choose the second plane And draw the same sketch on the second plane and exit from this sketch. So now I'm choosing third plane and again draw a center rectangle and defining its length and width is 140 mm. both side and now exit from the third sketch after that select the fourth one plane and draw the same sketch on this plane Dividing this length and width as 140 mm and exit from this sketch. Draw all this sketch with the reference of origin, make it coincident with the origin. And exit from the sketch. And I'm going to hide the all planes. After that, select feature and select loft base. Rotate this mark. And again, loft base the body. Click OK. Now choose any plane and start the sketch again. And extrude it cut. From the width plane. Throw all the object now the solid body is ready after that select sheet metal feature and select the convert to sheet metal here we have a number of parameters the first one is sheet metal parameter from here you can define the thickness of sheet metal and band radius after that, next one is bend edges and grip edges. And from here, you can also control the gap between the sheet. So, starting from the first point, select sheet metal parameter. So, here I am selecting any face. After that, we need to select the bend edges. So, 
so I'm selecting bandages so selecting all edges one by one Remain the upper case selected and select the all edges. Now here you can see is partial purview here. Here we have its thickness and band radius. You can also increase or decrease its thickness. So I'm here giving its thickness is one mm. And also increase or decrease its gaps. So I am decreasing its gap up to one mm. And click OK. Take some time to convert the body into the sheet metal. So now you can here see. The solid body is converted into the sheet metal. Now the copper is ready in the form of sheet metal.